What's going on guys? Welcome back to another scooter video. My name is Chase Ross if you guys are new to my channel and in today's scooter video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to toboggan or better known as T-bog. The beauty of learning toboggans is you don't actually have to full send this trick. You can work step by step by step and slowly click the trick farther and farther until it's actually a legit toboggan. Unlike backflips where you have to just go full send and just full throttle it and hope you make it all the way around, this trick is one that you can ease into it and gradually get better and better at it. So if you're a beginner or an expert pro, this video is for you. But without any more hesitation, let's jump into toboggans. For starters, let's make sure we put a helmet on. Now that we have our helmets on, let's dive into a couple of the basics that you guys need to learn before you start trying toboggan. For starters, I would make sure first that you guys know how to air on a quarter pipe or air out of a ramp. This is going to help a lot when it comes to actually doing the toboggan if you're already comfortable in the air. Now it also helps if you guys know if you're goofy or regular. This is because it allows you to know which hand you're going to be taking off to grab the deck with when you do a toboggan. If you stand goofy, you're going to be taking off your left hand to grab the deck. If you stand regular, you're going to be taking off your right hand to grab the deck. But that's pretty much all you guys need to know. Let's dive into step number one. We're actually going to hop off to the side of our scooter. If we're goofy, we're going to be standing on the right side of our scooter. If we're regular, we're going to be standing over here on the left side. Now, I'm personally goofy, so I'm going to be doing this from a goofy perspective, which means I'm going to be using my left hand this entire time. In step one, we're just going to focus on getting comfortable grabbing the deck. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring the deck up to our hand just like this, and we're going to grab the back part of our deck. We want to make sure we're grabbing the back part of our deck because if we're grabbing the nose up here and we actually go for the toboggan later on, it's going to make the trick a lot harder and also it doesn't look as stylish. So really grab that back part of the deck right there so you can actually get comfortable getting into that toboggan. So we're going to do this just a couple times. We're going to bring the deck up to our hand, grab the back part of the deck right there. A couple more times, bring the deck up to the back of our hand, and then push it back down. All right, now that you guys are comfortable with bringing the deck up and grabbing the back of the deck, you guys are now ready to jump into step number two. In this step, we're going to be talking about what our back foot is going to be doing. So we're actually going to have our back foot as close as we can get it to our back wheel. The closer, the better. Because when we have our back foot closer to the back wheel, it's going to make it easier to actually bring up and grab. If your back foot's all the way up here, it's going to make it like really awkward and really hard to grab for a toboggan. So moving your foot back to the back part of the deck right here allows you to get a nice clicked toboggan. So make sure your back foot's close to the end of the deck and your front foot can be right there next to your back foot. But now let's tie steps one and two together. We want to now bring the deck up to our hand and have our foot on the deck. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to lift it up, grab the deck. Let me make a key point right here. We do not want to be leaning down to the deck. That's a no-no. We want to be bringing the deck up to our hand. It's going to be a lot easier in the air if we're able to bring the deck up to our hand like that. If we're having to reach over and grab the deck, it's going to make a really unbalanced, uncomfortable air. So let's just try this a couple times real quick. We're going to lift the deck up, grab the deck. Now we'll do it a little bit more smoother. Lift the deck up and grab it. Now you guys are probably like, cool, that looks like a nice little deck grab, but how does it turn into a toboggan? That's where step number three comes in. In this step, we're going to be talking about what you're going to do once you get into a deck grab. How do you make it a toboggan? It's really simple actually. All you're going to do is cheat your hand into the grip a little bit like this. So normally you hold your grip right here, you're going to move your hand in just a little bit. It's going to make it easier once you're right here to turn your bars forward. And it also gives you a little bit more control because you can actually rest the back part of your bar right there on your forearm. So it's going to be like that. Kind of like a nice little stopping point so it doesn't go too far and get over over twisted. Now we're in the deck grab right here and all we're going to do is just point our bars forward like that. It helps if we use our foot right here as a pointer and push down with our toes. From this point right here it's actually really easy to get out of the toboggan. All you're going to do is untwist your bars and make them straight again. Now that you got your bars straight you can take your back hand off and grab back onto the grip. From that point all you're going to do is just push back down and roll back straight as if you just are riding and doing a normal air.
As you guys can see, toboggans are actually a really simple trick. There's not a lot of steps to do, which means there's not really a lot to go wrong, which means you can basically walk through step by step without actually ever having to fully sim the trick until you're ready. So this trick is a really one that is definitely geared towards beginners, but at any level, you guys can perfect this trick and really just click it farther and farther, which is why I love this trick so much. Much like turn downs, where you can just always crank out an extra little like turn into it, it's just a trick that really makes riding fun, which is why you guys should definitely go out and learn it. But before we head out of here, I got a couple questions and tips that I want to note that you guys can keep in the back of your head while you guys are going out and trying your first toboggan. Question number one, why is the scooter deck not sticking to my feet? Now, this is a common issue that a lot of riders have. They'll go up and do a toboggan, but the scooter deck will come off their feet and they'll be like, ah, flying around the midair, not knowing what to do. The easiest way to keep your deck to your foot is literally just to use your hand that's on the grip and pull up. Always keep pressure on there. That way your feet always stay glued to the deck. Question number two, where do I put my hands? I talked about this in step number one and two, but I might as well cover it again. Placing your hands on the back part of the deck is the most important part. Whichever hand you're taking off, use that hand and grab next to your wheel. It's gonna make it a lot easier to get extension while you're doing the toboggan. And as well, your hand that's staying on the grip, bring it in to the bar just a little bit. It acts as a little bit of a stabilizer when you actually turn the bar forward and then you bring it back. Question number three, how do you click it? Now, referring back to question number two, where you put your hands, that's really going to determine how far you can actually click the toboggan. So, like I said before, grab the back part of your deck by the back wheel, and then keep your hand a little bit into your bars. That way you can get some full extension when you click the toboggan. But now a key step to doing this trick is you want to make sure you're bringing the back wheel up to your butt. The closer you can suck in the back wheel to your butt, the more angled nose down you can get that toboggan. So really focus on bringing that back wheel up to your butt, and then throwing that hand forward and turning the bar and making it a really click toboggan. But that right there is all the questions and tips that I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys now go out and send your very first toboggan. If you guys land your first toboggan, go down in the comments and let me know how it went. Also, while you guys are down there, leave me a comment and let me know what trick I should coach next. If there's enough comments for one trick, you know I'm gonna make a tutorial on it. But that right there is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, give me a big old thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. I put a lot of work into these videos as I try to pack as many tips and tricks as I can into one video so you guys can go out and learn this trick right after watching this. But that's going to do it for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.